solar analytics came about when um, in the middle of the solar boom, I installed solar on the roof of my house. I wanted to know how it was performing and there was nothing out there to tell me. So that's the product we set about as a team to create. The team behind Solar Analytics has been in the solar industry for nearly 20 years. There's a real depth of knowledge and passion about solar and a real interest in engaging with the customer base to make sure that the customer gets that engagement with solar as well. In Australia right now there are over one and a half million people with a solar system. Uh, in fact we're the, we've got the largest uptake in the world. Of those, more than 98% of them have no idea how much energy their solar is generating relative to how much they're using. They really just don't know how well their system's working and what they can do about it. We have a piece of hardware provided by our good partners, Wattwatches, which we put inside people's meter box. And this gives us real-time energy feeds from both their solar system and their energy usage at home. We then take that solar data and that energy data and we process it in real time in the cloud. And we also take in uh, live weather data and we put all of that together so that we can then give useful, insightful, interesting information, valuable information back to the homeowner. Um, so this is um, our consumer dashboard. As an it's the smart in the solar smart monitor that makes us different. We don't just monitor solar energy generation, we also monitor weather data and nearby systems data. So we can tell you what energy you've produced, what you should have produced, and if it's underperforming we can tell you what's wrong and what to do about it. It's machine learning, it's all cloud based and it's all, yes, it's clever iterative learning processes. When we first started off we actually did a project where we developed our own hardware. It, it was an unmitigated disaster. And the reason we started doing it ourselves was we scoured um, the world looking for someone who could provide the hardware that would give us the data that we needed. Well, we couldn't find anyone, so we tried it ourselves. It was not a success. Um, we then searched again. This time, we looked in our own backyard as well, and just around the corner, we found Wattwatches, another Sydney-based startup who had developed this exactly the sort of hardware that we wanted. So we've partnered with them since then and they provide all of the hardware that we install in people's homes. The Wattwatch's product was chosen for its, the quality of the data, for the reliability and for its design and integration in the system. Energy flow data is absolutely critical so that homeowners can get the most value out of their solar system. It's absolutely critical so that energy generators and energy distributors can maximise the efficiency of our um, energy system. As more and more homes put on solar and as more and more homes put on energy storage, data becomes even more critical. Uh, it becomes critical because it's the data that lets you decide when you should be charging the battery and when you should be using the energy in the home or when you should be selling it back to the grid. Energy markets are changing in the same way that telecommunications markets did 20 years ago. Customers now have a lot of choice and the data and the analytics will help those customers to make better decisions. Solar Analytics is now Australia's largest monitoring provider and the world's fastest growing. We're providing a solution now for Australia and we're starting to explore international markets. The US will be our first market, we'll be going there in June 2016. We have a couple of sites already installed and we'll be looking to grow that market really rapidly. Why San Francisco is very good for us is not just that it's a real heart of startups and technology, but also California is the biggest solar market in the US. In fact, they're over 50% of the US solar market. Um, and while they're still smaller than Australia, uh, California's as a single state is now the largest single state in the world for solar uptake.